I'm Matt from the Pickleball Clinic, and today I'm gonna teach you how to hit a drop serve. In pickleball, we have two main types of serves. We have the volley serve, which is where we're holding the ball out in front, tossing it, and hitting it out of the air before the ball drops to the ground. And we have the drop serve, which is where we hold the ball up, drop it so that it bounces off the ground, and then hit it off the bounce. If you're a beginner, I highly recommend starting with the drop serve. The drop serve is gonna be a little bit easier to learn. When you're dropping the ball and letting it come up, you have much more time to complete your swing and react to the bounce of the ball. If you're trying to toss the ball, wait for it to come down and then swing and hit it, there's a lot more moving parts and you have to react quicker, which for somebody without a racket sport or paddle background, it's gonna be really tough to time that ball. So I highly recommend bouncing the ball and using that drop serve. Here are our rules regarding the toss because this is very important. This is a little bit specific. There are a couple of things that we have to make sure we can't do when we're hitting the drop serve. The first is we have to hold the ball out and drop it as in a dead drop. What we're not allowed to do is bounce the ball off the ground. After we drop it, the ball can come up as high as we want to hit it. We can hold it all the way up here and drop it from as high as we can reach so that the ball comes up a little bit higher to make the serve easier to hit. But we can't apply any additional force or spin to the ball as a part of our toss. This would be completely illegal to hit for my serve, but this is a legal serve. When you drop the ball, you can drop it anywhere in the court, over the line, behind the line, pretty much wherever you want. But the one rule is your feet have to be behind the line. If I'm dropping the ball inside the baseline and my feet are behind the line, I'm good. I'm dropping the ball behind the baseline and my feet are behind the line, I'm good. But I can't be over the line, drop the ball, and then hit. That's gonna result in the fault. Here's how we hit the drop serve. There's a few different techniques and rules that we have to keep in mind while we're trying to hit this serve. The first one is that we wanna stand sideways. If I'm hitting my drop serve, it's gonna be really tough to hit from what's called an open stance where I'm facing towards the other side of the net. But if I stand sideways, I'm able to get a full rotation and I can use my feet as my crosshairs so that I'm lined up right towards my target. If I'm serving from the right side, I'm gonna be on a slight angle towards the left. If I'm serving from the left side, I'm gonna be on a slight angle towards the right. After I drop the ball, I'm gonna wait for the ball to come up to its apex before I go to hit it. When I do my drop serve, I don't wanna hit it right off the bounce like this. That's gonna cause the ball to go into the net and be super consistent every time. What I wanna do is hold it up, drop it, wait for it to come up, and then execute my swing. When I swing, I wanna bend my knees, get under the ball, keep my paddle back to start, swing under and up, and then follow through over my shoulder. So I'm a righty, so I'm gonna start facing towards my right. I'm gonna have my paddle back, bend my knees, and finish up over my left shoulder. So it looks something like this. The last thing to remember, when you're hitting your drop serve, the other rules regarding the serve that we have to follow on the volley serve don't apply here. So I can actually swing from high to low. I can make contact above my belly button. I can do anything I want. I can break all the other rules of the serve as long as the ball bounces and I'm using that drop serve. For example, if I'm hitting a volley serve, my paddle has to be below my belly button when I hit, so I couldn't hit the ball up here. Theoretically, with the drop serve, if I can get the ball to bounce really high, I could come down and hit it overhead. That's a legal serve. None of these rules apply. There's no reason why you would ever do that. But just so you know, you can break all the other rules of the serve on the drop serve as long as the ball bounces and you're not propelling it downwards towards the ground. 